Hey friends, it's Lisa Marie with Stamp with Lisa Marie. Surprise! I never come on on Sunday. Is it even morning, afternoon? I don't even know. I didn't even look. Let me grab my iPad and make sure that I got everybody, that I've got it in the right place and all that good stuff. I want to show you something really cool because I'm just going to give you guys a second to get here before I say anything. Let's see if anybody pops on with me. Let's see if I can get my iPad working here. Bloop. All right, we're gonna go to Facebook. I'm gonna pop in here, turn the volume down because we don't need to hear it double. There we go. All right. So I was watching my friend, Christina, who is amazing. She's another demonstrator and she totally just did a video and I am so copying her right now, okay? Because what she showed me I had never seen before and we all know how much Lisa Marie hates putting stamps together. <laughs> Not that it's hard, I just don't like to do it. Lazy, I don't know, but I don't like to do it. So I'm gonna show you this cool tip that she shared with me. Are you guys ready? Because it's really cool. Rebecca, you might never see my stamps not put together again. I'm just saying. Would that not be amazing? So look at I was practicing to make sure that I could do it and I didn't I couldn't even finish. I had to come on and tell you guys. So what she does is breaks every rule rule you ever thought that we've ever told you. Let's see which ones have I done already. Let's do this guy. That's another long one. I gotta make sure I'm grabbing the right one. All right, so it's this one. So I'm gonna take off my label. Oh, let me get it this way. Of course, it'll be the one time it's actually staying behind. So I'm peeling him off. This is the side that actually sticks to the clear block. So I'm going to grab a clear block and stick this right here. And then I'm gonna peel this guy off. Just like this. All right, and then I'm gonna take my stamp, hopefully I have them going the right way, and set it here. I'm gonna try not to get my head in the way. And then I'm just gonna hover until I get it exactly where I want it. And I have this nasty glare, so I'm gonna move that for a second. It's much harder now that I'm doing it on camera because I'm trying to not have that glare. Whoa. Okay, here we go. I should have practiced like I was on camera so that I would get it right. And then that guy goes there. I feel like I'm pretty darn close. And then you peel it off the block and you have utter perfection. I'm just saying. I am so super excited. I just, and if you guys have seen this before, shame on you for not telling me because I did not ever know about doing it this way. Never crossed my mind. And I just think it's amazing. So now like you're gonna actually witness me putting stamps together. <laughs> Cause I never do this. You know they sit in the case until Rebecca comes over or I go to an event where Laura is and Laura will do it for me. Cause I don't like doing it. It's, it's like this, I don't know. I don't know why I don't like it. I just don't. So now we're gonna flip this guy over and we're gonna hover right over him because we have that clear block we can see. And you know, because the shape matches, now it's not gonna be hanging over. Like sometimes I get a little piece that's like hanging over because he's slightly crooked. Not now, just stick it on there. We're gonna do this one. So this is a really cute set coming up in the holiday book and I don't know why my iPad is doing that. It keeps going off. I must have my thing set for the thing to, you know, the screen saver thing. I'll peel this guy off. I'm so excited I'm just throwing my trash. I'm not even cleaning up. This one says glory to the newborn king. Oh, I like that. Happy Sunday, right? All right, I'm gonna stick that guy right on there. Now I like the other way that Becca does it too. That way's a good way. It's not a bad way. I just like this because now I can see exactly what I'm doing. Where's this little guy? And you know, I need new glasses, so I need all the help I can get. <laughs> and I know we've talked about this before. I have not not gotten my new glasses because like, not because I haven't gone, but because I'm waiting. They ordered me some frames to try because I just have a really wide head and so I, I'm really picky. All right, let's see. Let me make sure he's on there. We're just gonna zip this guy right on there. There we go. Ta-da! There should be one more. Park the Herald Angels. And so you're just peeling him off there and you're just gonna stick him right on your block. 
peel it off. I know, it's pretty cool, isn't it? So, Christina, thank you so much. My friend Christina is a demonstrator, and she, um, let's see, what is her page? I think it's Paper Gears. I think that's what hers is called. But she does some, oh, look at I'm trying to, trying to stick it on top. She does some amazing work, too. And when, like I said, when she saw, when I saw her do this video this morning, I was like, nuh-uh. That's so super easy. And I love that it's actually getting on there straight. It's not even a little bit cattywampus. Now, it was sitting on my block cattywampus, so if you were looking at that, it probably looked weird. And then I stick mine right back in the case. I used to keep my rubber piece. Oops, my, my craft lanch is falling. Um, my friend Carrie Ann calls it craft Jenga, and that's cute too. You can keep this over here if you want, and like you can just gently set them there. It just makes me crazy anymore. I just don't want to deal with it, so I just stick them right in here. And they'll be totally fine and if you're having trouble getting them out don't go ripping on them I'm gonna show you a little trick you can just grab your um, take your pick tool and put on the little spatula and then come up underneath of it see and so you can just slide it up under there and then that way you won't rip you don't want this to end up pulling so that the foam pulls away from the rubber because that would be sad nobody wants that so there we go there ta-da done look at that and I'm gonna do another one just in case you just popped on I know do I to put the stickers on the no. <laughs> I know I was just like no uh so when I do it Rebecca's way I still end up getting it on there crooked so it makes me a little bit crazy so I was having a hard time just finding you know so I just didn't do it I let Rebecca do it because well, that was easier so I'm gonna pop these guys off if you're just popping on, I am using, so I'm going to show you this one. This one was for, um, for Unto Us was the one that I just used. It has some gorgeous, gorgeous sentiments in there for Christmas. And this is in the new Christmas, or well, what are they calling it? The mini catalog that goes from August to December or something like that. Cute, right? So now we're going to, I'm going to show you have a hoop because, oh, he's so cute. Look at those little baby owls and there's dyes that go with it. It's so good. So let's grab, let's do this little jack-o'-lantern here. We're gonna peel him off. And he's got a little owl peeking from behind. How cute is that? So I'm going to stick this right on here. And then I'm going to peel off the backing. It'll be, you know, because I've been talking about it now, it's gonna come out, not gonna come off the way I wanted it to. And I cut all my fingernails off the other day, so. And I, yes, I was thinking about using my take a pick tool, but I don't want to like accidentally cut it, you know, like put scratches in it because that'll make me crazy too. So we're going to pull off this paper backing and then we're just going to hover over the top of it. Like so. Ta -da! We have our stamp. Yay. Let me grab another block. These cute little guys. There's two of them. So what is everybody up to this morning? We have like done nothing to be quite honest. Actually, Chuck was cutting the grass. Sad story. He has a lovely lawn tractor because he doesn't like, he doesn't like a push mower. <laughs> Our yard's not that big, but he doesn't, his knees hurt, you know, military kind of beat him up. So he has that and he went out there this morning and the mower deck broke, the welding or something, I don't know. All I, when he was trying to explain it to me, all I heard were dollar signs. I was like, no, that thing's not that old. It shouldn't be breaking. And it really doesn't take me that long to line it up when I'm not talking. Ta-da! There's another one. So when I'm talking, it takes me just a little bit longer. This almost makes me want to go put stickers on my stamps, but it would require leaving the recliner. Well, at least you're not in the bed. That's like, that's good. I thought you were going to say you were in the bed. <laughs> But I know, like, I'm going to, like, go sit. I can sit on the lap with a little tray in my lap, and I can sit and watch TV and do this. And it makes me happy because I'm getting them on there straight. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. When you get them on there and then that um, the sticker is hanging off, it just, it, that makes me a little bit crazy. So many things don't bother me, but that does. So, and like I said, it's even quicker when you're not talking and trying to do it on video, but live at that so it's not like I can stop and restart. Bloop. There we go. Ta-da! It's like there's like a teeny tiny edge on that one but I mean that is like so cool. 
Oh, you migrated from the bed. <laughs> yeah, I'm still doing laundry. It's like the story of my life. I'm doing laundry. And what else do we do? I think that's it. We're watching a new series on Netflix. That's what we've been doing. Did anybody watch? Um, oh, now I'm going to forget the name of it. The Magnolias one. What was that one called? Sweet Magnolias? That series? I really liked that one. And um, so then, you know, Netflix recommends things like that because, you know, I have nothing else to do. Oh, I don't think I grabbed the right stamp. Let's see. Nope, I didn't. I grabbed the right one. Um, and so I started watching this new one, Virgin River. And Virgin River is the name of this town. And so, but it's really good. And it's like, I think it's like the rating on it is like 14 and up or something. So like Alyssa can totally watch it. It's, there's nothing like drastic going on that I have to worry about exposing her to. Oh, I hate the light is hitting it just right or just wrong. There it is. I don't want my spider to be all crooked. Ta-da! I love that. So I'm watching Virgin River. Yes, that is what it's called. And so I avoided it when I saw the title because I thought for sure it was something inappropriate for my child. And um, it's not. It's totally benign. It's so sweet, you know. And it's right up her alley. It's got just enough medical popping in and out. And um, so, yeah, it's been really good. And it's one of those that drives Chuck crazy because it does a lot of that flashback, like giving you the backstory but in a flashback. That drives him nuts. So, so yeah, so he's, but he's actually been watching it. Don't tell him I told you that, but he has been watching it. And I think he's kind of hooked. Sweet Magnolias. Is, I know, I'm super excited because I have to know who was in the car. Oh, leave me hanging like that. You can't cancel a show and do when you're doing that. Um, but this one is, is like kind of, you know, that same, that same kind of, kind of feel as that one. And so I went with the Netflix suggestion and actually I Googled it too. And some, I saw, I read some reviews on it. I was like, Oh, okay, we can watch this. Pop this on here. Now you guys know we're going to be on here for, um, today is Sunday, right? We're going to be on here for spontaneous Sunday later tonight at seven 30. Me and Rebecca, Rebecca and I, <laughs> have you watched it Ingrid? It's pretty, it's cute. It's a little slow, but you know, it's like I can play on my phone and watch it. And I like that kind of TV. I don't like have to be so invested. I don't like, yeah, being so invested that if I blink my eyes, I miss something really important because there's always stuff going on and in the house, I'm going to miss something. So it's my kind of TV. I can put stamps together while I'm watching it and it would be totally fine. And then I'm going to show you, I'm working on a class for you guys. Um, those of you that signed up for ridiculously awesome, awesome, I did post this morning that we had a little, we had a little snag with the, um, back order of the stamp set, but they've started shipping. So no worries. This class is still coming. You're still going to get everything. It's all good. But that set was so popular, which is a good thing. I mean, you know, if I, when I designed my million dollar stamp set, I want it to be popular. Oh, make, make something with this stamp set tonight. That's a good idea. We might do that because this is really cute. Very, very cute. Owl, owl I want for Christmas is you. That's sweet. Look, I did it again. I keep wanting to stick the stamp on there. Let's peel this guy off. Oop. Let me try a different spot. There it is. Like that. And like that. And then we're going to grab this one. And it's going to hover right over the top of it. I know you guys are getting the gist of it at this point. You probably are like, seriously, you're making us watch this. <laughs> but, you know. I, you watched Sweet Magnolias, Becca. I know you were watching it, but I don't know if you finished it. He was giving me a little trouble coming off, so I'm just going to slide my little spatula underneath of there. And when I'm doing it, let me just bring it up so you can see. Um, don't stab your foam. You just want to grab it so that it comes right up underneath that sticker and that it helps lift it off. And then you won't tear anything. So we don't want to tear it. I'm going to finish these because you guys, if I don't, you know they're going to sit over here and I won't get to them right away. And then they're going to be in the way. And since Linda wants us to use it tonight, this way they'll be all ready for us. I think I just heard my son come out of the cave. 
he's he's uh, been sleeping all morning or at least hiding in his cave one of the two all right I am um, doing a video yes and it is live hey, Facebook. oh Nathan says hi Facebook there we go there's another one done let's do boo all right and is Alyssa out there babe yeah. okay she's been really good this morning so I'm gonna go with it I thought I'd sneak in here do a video I left my door open because you know Chuck went to go I don't know to look for something for the tractor I think and she's sitting out there she is playing Animal Crossing this morning we're like the only parents on the planet I feel like that like forced her she has forced video game time in order to help curb her television addiction <laughs> she doesn't like to do too many things so we have to go with what what works you know all right let me clean up my little mess I'm going to show you this class because it's, it's cute it's super easy and if you signed up for ridiculously awesome you already have some of it so it was part of why I wanted to do it let me get rid of this and if you did the paper share too because you could totally use your paper share stuff to work on this so it's going to be a um what is this called flowers for every season memories and more class and it's really cute so I'm going to show you what I've been working on so you know you have you get a pack of 10 of these memories and more cards and envelopes and look at how pretty and they come in each of the colors so you've got your misty moonlight bumblebee there's cinnamon there's the just jade there's the magenta oh, there's a little thing stuck on there and then what, what did I forget did I forget one? No, I didn't. There we go. Cinnamon and then Just Jade is probably still in my hand somewhere. Let's see. There's one. Cute, right? And then you're going to get a pack of the, um, the notes, the, what are they called? Memories and More Cards. So you get all these. You get a big old box of these. And you get all the little stickers that come with it. There's that. All the little stickers. See? cute and so what I'm thinking is that if you purchase this class it's just going to give you more ideas to turn around and use that leftover DSP you still have but let me show you one isn't this just cute so this is simply a piece of just jade and then I layered one of those little three by four cards right there so it just fit right on top of there so this is like four and an eighth by three and an eighth and I stuck these are the little stickers they're little word stickers that are in the kit and um, that's it so we're gonna make a set of 10 cards. You're gonna get, and you're gonna have a ton left over because you have all those memory and more cards. And I can't even remember how many are in there right now. Let me look, see if I, oh, look at, I saved that part, but it doesn't tell me which one. I don't remember how many are in there. If somebody knows, y'all can yell at me and tell me. Um, but they just make such pretty, pretty cards. I don't wanna show you all my secrets, but let's see. I really like, oh, I really like this one. Isn't that cute? Oh, look, my little guy fell off. We'll fix him later. Isn't that cute? I just love that. And I, I love pink, so, you know. So anyway, I'm working on a class for that so that you guys can have that. And it's gonna be a super easy class, super quick and easy to put together. And I'm gonna have some alternative cards too that you can do um, with that kit. So anyway, so that is how, look at a full, I have two full sets of stamps put together. Amazing, right? If Laura is not on, someone needs to tag her so that she can see what I did because I'm pretty stinking proud of myself right now that I just whipped those out and they've been sitting in a box since they came and I am was super excited to put them together now. Let's stick all these dudes back in here. It's kind of like a puzzle. I probably should like do a, um, a little sheet on the back so that I know who belongs where. There we go. I wonder if I could use this guy. Probably could. I could slide him back here. This isn't the right one, but you could slide that and then you would know who belongs where. I just thought of that. I'm sure that's not the first time it's been thought of, but you know, I'm just tired of holding onto this. This makes me a little bit crazy. It's just too bulky. So anyway, we will see you guys tonight. Um, let's see what else. If you're doing August card class um, with me this, this coming, this, you know, this coming month, then make sure you're in the card class with Lisa Marie. Um, group because that is where I'm posting all the information for that. That's where your videos will be. Um, for those that are still social distancing, 
that way we can keep you know everyone safe and then those that are ready for in-person classes I am totally ready um, so we'll just go ahead and we'll get it all worked out for what we need to do okay all right you guys thanks for popping on with me and I'll see you later bye bye